This is Tapu7. A heads up, if you have not heard, that we have this biotech company, Oxitech, getting granted experimental use with a permit to release billions of these genetically engineered Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. They're doing so in multiple cities, many of them in counties within California, Fresno, Tulare, San Bernardino, Stanislaus counties, and then Monroe County in Florida. This will be what they're saying is the biggest release of genetically engineered insects in the world. So the EPA approves this despite growing concern raised by scientists surrounding this. Now, they go on to state here that an independent peer-reviewed study from, of all places, Yale, says that when they did this, this thing failed to reduce the population of the mosquitoes, which was the whole goal. They're saying that there was enough genetic material in what they were finding to show that these things could go on to be more aggressive and even more difficult to eradicate. That's per their Yale study. So those findings do not bode well for any of it. Yet this is happening in these areas and it's in mass. Thought you might like to know. So I'll leave links below. Follow me on Twitter and get her for more. Hit that subscribe button as well. All right, Shalom. Given all the praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother, Yahweh Shalom, coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. And this video will pretty much be around this um, topic in the video you just saw. Alright, from Dabu 7. Alright, you know, there's, there's going to be a huge, um, largest release of, um, of GMO mosquitoes, you know, ever. Alright, and I did a video on this, I believe last year. A uh, more detailed video, but this is just, this is just going to be a quick hit, a quick video. Through the spirit and power, you have a shy. Just to, just to reinforce the um this this topic, so you know this 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 is gonna happen, right? You know what I mean? And just as he was going through, you know, they were saying that um, you know, even in the studies, all right, the studies show that um releasing these things never reduced the population, as they said it would, all right? But as the main re main reason or the main premise that they're going on is that these things, these newly these changed or modified insects. All right, it's gonna redu reduce the um the population, you know, because mosquitoes usually usually cause um sickness like dengue fever, malaria, so on and so forth. All right, but it actually does the opposite. All right, so they, they not, these these not gonna be these not not released, you know, to help you in any way, you know that that best best believe that for sure. All right, you know. In fact, when you um when you understand. How deadly um, these insects could be. In fact, let me, let me just get a uh, clip here. I took from Wikipedia. Uh, this is just a clip from Wikipedia showing the, um, the most deadliest animals in the world. All right, and mosquitoes are number one. They kill over a million humans per year. All right, because they give um, a lot of different diseases. As we saw, we spoke before: dengue fever, malaria, yellow fever, fever. Um, chikungunya, different forms of en encephalitis, they have Chagas disease, Rift Valley disease, Zika, West Nile disease, all these different diseases. Right? They're actually more deadly than humans. As you can see, humans is number two, followed by snakes and dogs. Alright? So, you can well understand how deadly these things could be. Alright? You know, plus, all we'll be seeing here is prophecy. All we've seen here is prophecy. Alright? So what did the Lord say? He said that he's gonna send back the plagues of Egypt. Alright? And this is why this is why the apostles always stress on prophecy. 
right? Because prophecy is where it's at, right? And which is the greatest gift, gift of prophecy, out of all the spiritual gifts, all right? And let's get at, let's get this prophecy in Second Ezra 15. Okay. And the Lord said He's going to bring back these flakes. See if I can. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me start at um, verse. Let's start at verse eight. It says, Second Ezra fifteen and eight. I will I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Yeah, as touching the wickedness of our, of of his people, the wickedness of the heathen, right? Which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold. The innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, which is the elect, and the souls of the just complain continually, yeah, the elect. And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Alright? Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Alright? I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt, which is speaking about what? Babylon the Great, America, and the Americas right here. Alright? You know? Start with that land called the United States of America and all the surrounding countries. Alright? But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Alright? So the Lord sm smite, smited Egypt with plagues before, right? Through the hand, through the hand of who? Moses and Aaron. Alright? I will destroy all the land thereof. Okay? So this is what the Lord is going to bring upon Egypt. And this is what he's bringing upon Egypt. Plague after plague. Verse 12 says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Heavenly Father shall bring upon it. So this is what they're bringing here as a plague. Alright? As the scriptures say, um, as King David said in the Psalms, you know, to save him from the, from the wicked, which is thy sword. So they, 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 these devils, he saw Edom, yeah, the sword of the Lord bringing these plagues, all right, to punish Jake in particular and heathen, all right. So the so the Lord said he will bring plagues as before. And let's take a look at the plagues that the Lord brought at the hand of Moses, the plagues of Egypt, all right. This Exodus eight and verse sixteen, all right, and it says, and Yahweh said unto Moses, say unto Aaron, stretch out thy rod and smite the dust of the land. That they may, they may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so, for Aaron stretched out his rod, his hand with his rod, and smote the dust of the earth, and it became lice in man and in beast. And all the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. Alright? Now, when you go to the NLT, or on, or on the interlinear, which you see at the side here, it says in place of lice, it says nuts. Alright, turn to nuts. Alright. When you go into the um definition and on the, the, the history of what, what what actually the what what mosquitoes really are. It says it says um mosquitoes are from a nut family. Just Google that. Mosquitoes are members of a family of nematoceran flies. The colicidae. Uh, from the Latin culex, right? So when the mosquito is actually it's called culex, right? Meaning midge or or gnat, right? So the mosquito is a type of gnat, and gnats and mosquitoes related. It says um, a gnat is one of a family of insects that includes flies and mosquitoes. So here you have it. All right. So mosquito is a type of gnat. All right. So this is a plague. Just like the plague that, that happened long ago in Egypt, the Lord is doing it. He said he would do what? Let's get that. Alright. Um, second Ezra 15 and 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So just how the Lord did before in the times of Moses, he's doing it again in this time. Alright. The Lord is going to destroy the land. He's going he's gonna to reduce population like what he planned all right destroy the wicked all right and even the name the name of that mosquito let me see if i could find anything on this it's called the 80s 
Egypt D. Salangia. C. Where? Where? Do? Egypt D. Originate. Salangia. from all right AG Egypti was introduced to a new world 400 to 550 years ago from its ancestral home in West Africa all right via European slave trade ships all right so it came this type is this this um type of mosquito all right it's not a natural to, to, to the western world all right it's more at home in the eastern world into Africa, places like Egypt, you know, West Africa, Nigeria and these places. But it was brought across here by who? By by Esau. Alright? Same way he brought he brought us across, you know, via the transatlantic slave trade. Alright? So it came from its ancestral home in West Africa via European slave trade. Alright? Um is it is Egypt the from Egypt, the mosquito species Egypt Aedes was um, identified as a vector in all dengue outbreaks occurring before 1940 and as a nuisance in Alexandria and Cairo, which are in Egypt. All right, but a substantial decrease in its population was observed through the use of um, triggering its disappearance from Egypt. So it was in Egypt. All right, so that's that's spiritual too. All right, because this mosquito probably was a family of mosquitoes that were maybe in the original plagues you know when when most of them Aaron um, obey the Lord and send the plague on Egypt all right because it basically they said down here it was a nuisance in Alexandria and Cairo so hence, hence the word Egypti it is Egypti all right so they the Lord sent his plagues you know the plagues not slack as men count slackness the word of the Lord is not slack all right and what we've seen here is prophecy living out so yeah that's all i have on that you know i pray this this short lesson was edifying all right i want to give all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect wa abad babal destruction unto babylon and shallow one.